Hello Fierce Love! So for this video, I am going to sh finally share with you my entire makeup collection as of December 2020. So today is December 14 and I will be starting the part 1 of my 4 part makeup collection video because it's a lot so I cannot just do one video. So for the first part, I'm going to show you some of my makeups and then tomorrow, the 15th of December 2020, I'm going to share with you my lipstick collection and of course I have 10 red lipstick recommendations for you guys, perfect for the holidays. And then on the 16th of December, I am going to share with you my makeup palettes. And lastly, on the 17th of December, I am going to share with you my entire brush set collection. Isn't that so exciting? I am so excited too. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, for yourselves, for the first part of my makeup collection video, I'm going to share with you this uh, makeup storage because I wasn't able to share this the first time that I made a makeup collection and storage video. So this is the storage. I actually DIY'd this one because I painted this. <laughs> I painted this myself about uh, two or three years ago well, not mistaken. all right so let's start at the top left corner of the drawers and this one has just some knickknacks and extras so it's like this so it's not super organized this is just where i store my extra sponges some nail polish some hand cream that i have never used yet a body cream that i haven't used yet uh, and lots of uh, lips, lipsticks and lip gloss over here, or rather lip balm. So I collect lots of lip balm, and this is just one of them. And then I got the uh, cute ones from, I think it was a Rimmel, the ones with a Keep Calm. Yeah, just uh, things like this. I think I should do a lip balm collection because I have collected quite a lot, but I haven't shown that. So I have some lipsticks also that are from Glossy Box, and some that are given to me are just right here. The ones that I barely use or just part of the collection, I just put them there, and then let's proceed to the one right next to it. All right, so now to this next drawer on the right. And okay, yeah, this is, I just recently moved this here and this is where I store the makeups that I am collecting so I will have a full face of one product. So I have here all wet and wild items. So there's a highlighter, some eyeshadow, a little bit addition that was given to me before. Uh, this one I bought myself but I dropped it like, oh my gosh, two times and it broke. And then um, there's one right there too. That's a very nice color story, but not so pigmented. Uh, mascara and then a uh, face spray, like a um, setting spray. And then we have this one to, to highlight underneath the brows. I'm not sure if I have, I think I have some more red and white products somewhere else, like a foundation. But these are those. And then I have some more from Freedom Makeup. I don't know if there's still freedom makeup or maybe yeah it's, it's, it always have been like a part of makeup revolution so maybe we could still find it on their website i bought a set of uh, two boxes before some of them have the same items inside so i gave that away and decluttered it but uh, i just kept some so i can try on a full face of freedom makeup just i have been using to put it back here so those are those and then I also have so basically these are more drugstore products. I have here LA Girl. Yeah. And then Milani right there, Elf right here, and then on this part is Essence. So this one for LA Girl I have this nudes palette. And then I have some like a Wow, I used this before. I even hit pie on this one. This is really good. The highlighter, strobe powder. This I haven't used yet. Their setting powder. Yeah, this one I haven't used yet. This is still sealed. 
primer. I have a, a contour and um, a blush that broke. This was actually given to me on a swap and then that girl sent me all LA Girl items. And I haven't done a full face of LA Girl yet. There's even like a foundation that is not my shade. <laughs> and then some lip products. And then we have, I think that was like a eyeliner, brown black eyeliner, and mascara, and a lip liner. So those are the items that are here in this LA Girl pile. So hopefully by early next year, I'll be able to do my LA full face of LA Girl products. And then I have here Essence. I have quite a lot of Essence products before because I was like collecting them and I like it. A very nice uh, affordable drugstore product that is available all over Europe. Especially in Central Europe. They have quite a lot and they have lots of sales. So most of them I got them along the way while I was traveling all over Europe. So this one I believe I got this in Spain. So this one is a very nice palette. It looks like MAC. It's like a dupe for the MAC palettes that looks like this. And then also have a highlighter palette that I bought about the same time that I bought the other palette. And it looks like that. I think this is like back when the holographic highlighters are still popular. I have a lip palette. Okay, that's cool. I love lip palettes. This one I have used already. I got this from way back, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just a face palette, contouring, bronzer, and then a fixing powder right here. A blush. I have given away a lot. This here's a contour palette. And then a shading powder, and then another bronzer. I have a little bit of uh, e.l.f. here. Most of them are like on my vanity table because I use them. So this is an old bronzer that they have. And then a brow product. I have two of these. And then uh, this one is uh, the finishing powder that I haven't tried yet. This one I tried. Their face palette. <laughs> the e.l.f. was removed so I had to improvise and then put some bling in here. And it's this one. This is always sold out. I don't know where I could find this anymore. This is really good. So this had been staying inside my like daily bag for the longest time. Now we're back to the left side and then I'm going to the second drawer from the top. And it's this one. So this mostly holds my lip gloss collection. And then some minis in my collection. Alright, so I also have this one because this holds minis. This was from Kat Von Collab some years ago. And uh, this one has... Oh, okay, I just put them here. Um, These other items don't really belong here, but I just put them here. And this were minis, trial sizes of some products from Too Faced. Uh, yeah. uh, this one I think still holds some mini products. So this is a makeup bag from Benefit. And it has, yeah, mostly mini items. So mini Becca primer, which I have two. Oh, I should have given away one. And then a uh, mini Becca translucent powder, which is nice for traveling. And then, um, you could also refill it with something else if you were just wanting to travel with a few things. Give me brow by Benefit. And this is also a mini from Nude Cosmetics, which I haven't tried. And then the ladies at Sephora said that that was really nice. A velvet matte lip pencil from NARS. A freebie when I bought something from NARS. Uh, this one is Stay Spray. You can buy this and this very small ones. I love minis because I travel quite a lot except for of course the pandemic. And then we have here um, 
do the hula, which is a nice bronzer and benefits. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear black Brow Gel. And a mini sponge from Tarte also. So that's about it. I think this is a mini highlighter from... The one inside this Tarte makeup bag is just the boxes from Tarte. I'm so weird like that. I do not want to let go of the boxes. So they're right here. Those are from Tarte sets. And then now these are all just lip balms that I have been collecting for the past like four years if I'm not mistaken. So I have here Chupa Troops lip balms and they look like this. So cute. Lip smacker and different flavors of Chupa Troops. And then I have baby lips also from Maybelline which I got a few Christmases ago. They're just so cute. I was given one of the baby lips by Sis Nancy of Nancy Life TV. I think it was the cinnamon. But of course I lost that one. I always lose my lip balms. That's why I should really never open them. And then these are just a lot more lip balms. We have more of the lip smacker right here. Very nice tin can. Still sealed so we have two, four, six in different flavors here. Tropical punch. Mostly like tropical fruits. That's the flavors of uh, this one. So that's about it. And then I have just uh, this one from Maybelline, Baby Lips. I used to have like three of these, but I have uh, decluttered and then let go of two. Two, one. Happy person. <laughs> of course, I gotta have this one. I used to have like three of these, and of course, I lost <laughs> the other lip balms because I keep on putting them like in, let's say, my pockets. And I don't even know. I got Belle. Also from Lip Smacker. Um, more Chupa Chups right here, but different flavors this time. Just a duo. So, yeah, chapsticks that are Christmassy. It was given to me by, um, from a swap also, but I didn't have the heart to open it because they're so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got Mentos that I got here from Sweden. This was from a shop called Normal. And then now, these are all soft drinks. <laughs> so I have Coca-Cola, I have Fanta, I have Pepsi Wild Cherry, I have Pepsi Vanilla, flavor of lip balm. And then of course, I have Mountain Dew. Okay, I cannot hold them all. <laughs> And then I got Mountain Dew over there. So these are my soft drinks flavored lip balm. And lastly on this drawer, I have some more lip balms right here. I got this one, the Body Shop. I got three of these and then I have given away two. And then I have this one also from the Body Shop. I think it was given to me by Mrs. Nancy of Nancy Life TV. I gotta keep one, of course, because I love her so much. <laughs> and I love lip balms. This was given to me also by Mrs. Nancy of Nancy Life TV. This is just so cool. Le Macaron lip balm. And it's just, oh my god, look at that. That is just so stunning. So much fun. Mini and Mary. And then I just have some lipstick cases right here. I got two. And one lip balm that I got from Barcelona, Spain. I think I got three of these. All right, now to the right side. So this one just holds random things also. Uh, this one has my old palettes. Like um, I have some old BH Cosmetics palettes right here. Wild Child. And then Wild and Free. These are very nice baked eyeshadows. Perfect for toppers. And then I also have this one from iMagic. I should be showing this on like a makeup palette collection. But whatever I am showing right now, I probably will not show on that video anymore. Because it's going to be so redundant. And then I have my Sailor Moon collection right here. One of them. 
is out and they're at my vanity table so I have this one I collected them and then um most of them I bought from Bangkok Thailand and then some I got from my friend when she went to Japan so that's an eyeliner and here's another one so it's just the different ones so maybe I can just do it like this and show you the different ones and chibi moon I have some glam of Sweden items here also just a few not so much just uh, their usual quad highlighter face primer and a face cream so I'm also planning to do a full face of Glam of Sweden products, so maybe I could do that, yeah. Some other fat makeup palettes that I just, I don't really reach out for, so I just put them here. So the Brides from Technique, Chocolate Nudes from Catrice. This one was really good actually, uh, Moodstruck. These were really nice. So I have lots of cushions here and they were given to me by Sustensive Nancy Life TV mostly. So I got this one Physician's Formula um, cushion. Yeah, I gotta use this soon. But this is not open yet so that's not a problem. Very nice cushion. AA cushion from Kathy Doll with my ex-crush Mario Maurer. <laughs> this one Pikachu. But this one is like a blush cushion and then another Pikachu right here which is number 24 medium beige well those are my that's my summer shade so I can't wear that now in the winter time here it is oddball bricks and then this one is given to me the cute press beauty and the beast and I also have a lipstick from cute press beauty and the beast this one I bought luminous perfume face powder and this was Tony Moly? Yeah, this is Tony Moly. And then I have some Makeup Revolution palettes here. But I think I will show that on my palette collection video instead. So I'm not gonna open and just show you. So four Makeup Revolution palettes. I used to collect them, but when Makeup Revolution just cannot stop themselves from making a lot of palettes and I cannot keep up, then I let go of a lot of them, sold them, and, and now I just get these really cute ones. So the third drawer from the top is now one long one, not two different ones. Um, I think this one holds my swatch watches. So this is not makeup part, but I just wanted to show you, yeah. So I will do a separate video of my Swatch Watch collection, and that will be on the collection week. That's next week, <laughs> basically. You'll see all my Swatch Watches, and there's a lot. And then right after that, I will show you my watch collection, So because I love watches. I'm not sure if the next or the other ones are related, because I think these are the only ones that contains makeup. But let's check. Okay, yeah, this one holds my makeup pouches, small clutch, and stuff like that, which I already showed on my bags collection video, so I'm not gonna need to show that to you. If you wanted to see that, you can just go ahead and look at my bags collection video, and it's right there also. And then on just on this side, I have some perfume samples, and I have collected quite a lot, and I will show you that. On my perfume collection video also next week just a little bit of um, what's left on my backup nail products or yeah glue on nails because I always want my nails nice when I film other makeup here okay these are some lashes I only have two of the Thai one lashes <laughs> those are really really nice and this was also it's a cheap one and then some random ones that I don't know if I'm still gonna use so it's there, just right there hiding the next drawer will contain the items for the last part of my makeup collection video because these are my makeup brushes and I will be sharing them 
to you one by one and finally unbox the items that I have never unboxed yet. So they are there. I'm just giving you a sneak peek, but I'm not going to be talking about them because there's quite a lot of them. So it should be on a separate video instead. And the last part at the bottom is, of course, not really makeup related at all because this is where I store my paint products. My art products are all here. My paint books are here too. My calligraphy books, some notebooks, and uh, yeah, just everything related to art and painting are right here. So, nope, not makeup related, but I just wanted to show you so you see the entire dresser anyway. So, let's move on. Now, here's just random makeups that I have in the toilet. So, when I get ready there, it's very easy for me to reach out for them. So, this is LA Girl Brow right there. And then I have here Freedom Contour, a cool tone contour. And then I have my Christian Baton, one of my favorite Bronzers. This is amazing. I got Annabelle given to me by Sister Nancy of Nancy Life TV. So uh, eyeshadow trio. This one from Glossy Box Effect. It's a very pretty foiled eyeshadow, perfect for the top. Oh my gosh, this one is like so pretty. A pretty topper for eyeshadow. I got a blush here from H and M. Perfect for what was this? That one. Let me show this the darker one. Let me see. Because I have an entire H&M collection, which I will show you. Oh yeah, this is the dark one. Um, it's a very nice shade in cherry, exactly. H&M blush in cherry. I have um, this powder I usually use for my videos also. Gina McRae translucent powder from um, Thailand. It's a Thai brand. Sleek blush right here. This one is in the shade Coral, so I have got to have some uh, variations with my blushes, of course. And the Coral looks like this. I got this from Barcelona, Spain. It's called Basics Cosmetics. I think it says here. Yeah, it says here. Barcelona, Spain. Right there. So I mix this with my bourgeois number 51, which is the lightest. I'm usually number 52 for bourgeois, but just for me to be able to use them and to finish all of this, then I mix it with that. So Maybelline uh, Fit Me 135 and then um, the old packaging for H&M Flawless Finish All Day Foundation. And this one is in the shade True Beige. So these are my summer shades. And then I have, of course, my Sleek Highlighter. And uh, yeah, should be very easy to reach for me. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. And then I am going to share with you a Tom Ford product. I will share you all my other Tom Ford products later on. But this one I is one of my current favorites. That's why I love using this. And this is the Tom Ford Cheek Color in 02 Frantic Pink. Right there. And this is a beautiful shade. It's perfect for any look. All right, so let's, let me get rid of this uh, mirror, which I have for a long time. And I placed this one here way back and it's still here, this fierce side. But I am the fierce artist now for my YouTube channel. And then I am going with this part, which holds my compacts that are all luxury products. So here I got the Dior highlighter and then I have, oh no, it's a Dior highlighter also here, a limited edition, Dior Skin Nude Air. And this looks like this. And then I just put it here in this pouch, but this did not came with the pouch. But in a very nice box. Of course, I have my Dolce and Gabbana, and um, all of them I have a separate video, so you can go ahead and check that out here on my YouTube channel. I have an entire playlist called Luxury Products or lu something luxury, and then you can go ahead and check it out. All of the unboxings and reviews for the luxury makeups that I have are in there. So this one is very pretty, and yeah, it has this nice embossed in here and then after that i have my carolina herrera 
This is right there on the black or rather velvet pouch rather. I couldn't speak today. It's this one. And it's this very pretty zebra print. Very heavy box and then red on the other side. And yeah, it's a cream highlighter. Stunning. And then I have a Dior backstage that I haven't opened yet. I tried to do a video and then by the time that I'm ready, I don't know where I put it. I misplaced it. So it's still in a box. I will do a video of that next time. I have Guerlain, my Lingerie de Pau Compact Matte in 02C Claire Rose. I love, love, love this one. Another Guerlain here in Compact Meteorites Compact in the shade Doré or Golden. I like this one. I even tried this for contouring, this shade. It, the idea is that you use everything for the entire face, but yeah, I just use them individually. This for contour and then that for blush and then this two for the powders. Yeah, I just showed this on my By Terry haul video. I have a, also a separate video of By Terry items that I bought. It's a collective haul video, so go ahead and check it out. And this one is just so stunning. It's a limited edition from last holiday. Violet Velvet Pouch with By Terry right there. And it looks like this one. It's a very stunning rose engraved in there and this really smells like rose. That's for the by Terry, and then I have two Gucci compacts right here. I love putting them back in the box and for this precious one. This is the matte natural, so this is the powder. Comes with a pretty pouch like so. It looks like peach cream, and it is a vintage packaging for this Gucci. And it looks like this same velvety pouch, but this time it looks like a Tiffany green compact and then gold details. And it looks like this. I forgot to open it, but uh, underneath it, there's a, a brush for this one and then a sponge for the other one. All right, so now to the eyeshadow palettes or face palettes that I got. So all of them are made in Italy except for the two small Pat McGrath items that are here. And you know, I always tell this on my channel that I love makeups that are made in Italy because the quality is exquisite. So at the back, you can see my two Pat McGrath Divine Rose um, or Mothership Divine Rose palettes. The Divine Rose 1 and the Divine Rose 2 are right there. I should have grabbed them because <laughs> I think I will just like this right here. I know how this looks like so maybe I should not pull that out. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to have a separate video showing you all my eyeshadow palettes. So I don't really have to show them one by one because I will be showing this on a separate video in this series just um, a few days after I showed this one. So just go ahead and check that out. It's part of my vlog mask. So this time I'm just showing you my makeup collection storage and then the, there's a specific video for all of my palettes collection. There's a specific video for my brushes collection and a specific video for all of my lipstick collection yeah that's right so no need to, for me to really share them all so at least you know how it looks like here on my vanity and how i arrange them so uh two pat mcgrath two natasha denona estee lauder right there tom ford two tom ford quads right here a chanel palette right here this is my favorite burberry palette and then uh by terry face palette right here still in the box I also added my two Huda Beauty palettes here. I have four now. I'm only missing one of the big palettes because I bought all everything in Black Friday sale. So I used to have my Metro um, Mercury Retrograde was the first one I got. And then I have the Naughty Nude was the last one that I got. So, yep, those are the palettes right here on this desk. And then I can move on to the next one right there, which is the foundations. And so moving on to this part of my very tiny desk <laughs> it's on uh, my foundations so i have decluttered a lot of foundations because they are old and expired and these are the ones that i have here and then some are in the toilet so here's my ultimate favorite bourgeois healthy mix 
I am in shade number 52. I love this one and I highly recommend this for people who have normal to dry skin. Wet and Wild, I bought this, um, as I mentioned earlier, I bought this because I wanted to have a full face Wet and Wild video. So that is not used yet. Um, this this one is one of the oldest that I have here, but everything else I bought this year, 2020. So Dior Forever, that's new. Essential is new. This one you have seen on bazillions of my videos because I love using this. And I love mixing this with my Essential Girl line because this one right here is my summer shade. And now this is way too light for me, so I mix them. And of course, my ultimate favorite primer. And this is from Bite Series Starlight Rose Glow Booster, which is on almost all of my videos. It's the primer that I love to use, even though I have some that are drugstore. I like this one too, it's a Yves Saint Laurent. And uh, this is a foundation stick in the shade BD20. This one is really pretty, but I do not use this all over the face. I use this for under eye to conceal my eye bags. I love the coverage of that one. So these brushes you will see in a separate video. I also did an unboxing video of them, which you will see on the, the 25th of December on Christmas Day. I will be sharing with you everything that I bought from Black Friday and then all the gifts that I received for Christmas. So I'll just put them in one video. Here I have some old pencils. Um, eyeliners, eye pencils, lip pencils, and they are really still nice. So, yeah, I just put them here. All right, so now to the corner of my tiny desk. The reason why there's a lot of things going on in here is because I'm right-handed and then I want everything to be easy access with my right hand. And that's why the basic brushes that I'm using are here. I actually put them here and this means, um, like... For controllers, remote controllers, but I like how it has these uh, divisions and they're perfect for the brushes. But I have already bought Spectrum Collection some um, brush holder, so I'm gonna move a lot of things there. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's it. Most of my basic brushes, but I'm gonna talk about my brushes on another video. So I am going to just skip all of the blabbering with this one, but at least you know how it looks because this is where I usually film, especially before I had my studio. And then this little one, which you may recognize because this is all over eBay, Aliexpress, this one. I even have a pink one of this. So I, I just like the divisions because um, yeah, a lot of space. And this one holds my liquid lipsticks, Kylie, Colourpop, and stuff like that. I have a mascara here, Yves Saint Laurent, and then some other mascaras are right here, and then my concealers are here too. Some lip pencils are there. Eyeliners are here. We have H&M, we have Sailor Moon. That's really Sailor Moon. I got that from either Thailand or Japan because there are some sellers for Sailor Moon eyeliners in Thailand when I was living there. Then Maybelline Fit Me for the concealer. Eve line, my go-to concealer. And this one that I should just finish. Mobile. And that means for mobile phones. But I love the divisions also. So I have here the makeup wipes. This one I got from Sheen. This is very easy to remove your makeup with a wipe. After a long day, and then I have my ultimate favorite bronzer here from NARS in this NARS Laguna brush that I could never finish because it's so big. <laughs> and of course, I use other bronzers anyway. Some NARS items. This one I haven't used this yet, but I put it here because it's a contour and blush. And uh, I have more NARS products, and I put them on one place because I wanted to do a collective NARS film, but I don't know where I put it. I misplaced it, so there's like contour palette right here that's a full size compact I have uh, a primer here from Benefit I haven't used it NARS one's one of the old limited edition ones that I have that I got from Thailand when I was living there 
And this I better I should move all the mascara here instead. I think I'm going to move this in some around in the eyeliner there. Okay, so I have the Better Air Than Sex mascara. And then the mascara from Max Factor, 2000 calorie. Oh, before I forgot, yeah, I got this one. And this is my uh, Dior Coffret from the Happy 2020. And yeah, I have a sp separate video of this one here on my channel. Just look for the first artist Dior. And you will see my unboxing. And then I showed this stuff. And then what fits inside this coffret. And I just put that here just... Just a little bit of accents since most of the items here are luxury products. So that's it. So for this part of the video, I'm going to share with you what's in my makeup display right here, which is just a bookshelf. And from the top, we have my luxury perfumes. And then on the second layer from the top, we have my Juicy Couture right there and my Victoria's Secret perfume collections. And now we are going to talk about this middle layer right here, which holds a lot of makeup. So let's start from the leftmost corner up to the right side. So I have my face paint book here by Lisa Eldridge, one of my first makeup books that I really love. This one is really good and I highly recommend this. So I have five makeup books and I want everything with color. Um, three Bobbi Brown makeup books right here. The Bobbi Brown makeup manual, of course. That was mandatory when I was in makeup school. I did makeup school twice. When in the Philippines for Center of Aesthetic Arts. And then I did oh, Center of Aesthetic Arts and Sciences, I think. CAS in Makati. And then 2017, I went to Makeup and Fashion... International Makeup and Fashion Academy, IMFA, in Bangkok, Thailand. So, Bobby Brown Makeup Manual, Bobby Brown Beauty Evolution, A Guide to a Lifetime of Beauty, and Bobby Brown Beauty, The Ultimate Beauty Resource by Bobby Brown and Anne Marie Iverson. So that's how it looks. But one of the underrated makeup books that I really, really like is this one. The Pro Makeup Artist by Spencer. This one is really good. It may say Salon Secrets of the Professionals, but this is really helpful. This is really good. I learned a lot from this one. Um, it teaches you about face, basics, everything. It tells you about the equipment, color. This is just... Amazing. So you could try to find this in a world of books or other bookstores or online bookshops because I highly recommend that one. Alright, so this entire pile right here is where I put my palettes. Most of them are new, not opened yet, and then some of them I haven't showed you here in my YouTube channel yet. So I will be dealing with them one by one, all of these palettes on the makeup palette collection video don't you worry so it will be just in a separate video instead but just to give you a sneak peek this one holds as you see my two more beauty huda palettes right here i did an unboxing for that which will be up on the christmas another pat mcgrath palette right here my two Too faced palettes two melt palettes at the back i have three mark jacob palettes and then urban decay one two three four five six seven seven urban decay palettes six naked palettes right there and then two more it's not here because they don't fit but i have two more and then um anastasia beverly hills is one two three four five palettes and i have some that are still on the box i haven't un uh, unboxed yet all of the norvina big palettes i bought and then the norvina small palette i bought so i have a total of two four five six six of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and then all four of the Norvina <laughs> and then I have uh, two of the Tarte I just don't have the original Tarte I have three Viseart palettes you will see that on a different video and then one small Huda palette right there 
So those are the eyeshadow palettes. And then the ones at the back here are face palettes, which I will also show you in the palettes collection video instead. Palettes, 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 palettes. And then now I can finally share you with you something because I can uh, show you some, let's say, yeah, this blush. It's very old. It's uh, from Makeup Revolution back when this type of blushes are very popular, the heart-shaped blushes. I think it was Too Faced who initially had this blush and then Makeup Revolution made a lot of it. They, they were like unstoppable in making those. I have an unopened highlighter from a Marc Jacobs. I have Summer Snow Cone. I don't have any more Jeffree Star products anymore because I decluttered them, but I decided to just keep this one because of the pink packaging or like the pink metallic packaging. This is limited edition. And it looks like that. And yeah, looks like this inside. And then I have my Kiko Milano palette. I used to collect them, but since Kiko Milano has a very high shipping fee, I stopped buying. I only buy when I am in places that has Kiko Milano like in Italy or in Spain, France. Here in Sweden we don't have it. So yeah. That's a highlighter. Very very nice. I love it. It's a champagne and then a rosy or pinkish highlighter combined. I have this one which is called the Summer 2.0 Baked Blush. Looks like this. So stunning also. And this one is Desert Dunes Trio in Gypsy Pink. And it looks like this. This one is a very nice blush. I love using this one. I had so much fun. Lastly, this is a Christmas release. Maybe like two years ago, three years ago. And this one is called the Lively Coral Double Color. Not really a blush for me. This is like more of a highlight actually. This one, Fenty Beauty, I have two. I don't know where I put the other one because I always put the things that I am about to film on a paper bag and then sometimes I just move them around. So I don't know where it is. One looks like this. Very stunning. It's called Chills. I'm not going to be swatching anything otherwise our video is going to be so long. But I did a separate video on every single of them. All single one. So when I did the haul for that one, I did swatch that and I made the makeup look. This one is one of the highlights that I really like. A subtle highlight from Estee Lauder, Estee Edit, in 01 Heat. I love this one. So I have um, two Natasha Denona blushes. And then uh, Sun, or like a Super Glow right there. And then a Duo Glow. So let's start from the Duo Glow right here. And this one is Duo Glow in 02 Ryo. This one is how it looks. It looks so pink. So I used this for like if I wanted a wet look blush. That's what I use. And then a Super Glow right here, which is a gold one. This is... 03 bronze. They call it bronze, but it looks so gold for me. I love it. Ah, yeah. This one came in shattered, so I had to fix it. As you see, I had to press that back. And then I have this one. Natasha Blush in... I don't know what number it is, but I love that it's made in Italy. Dude. So that's the pink and that's the antique nude right there. This is my first ever Natasha Denona product, actually. It's a Natasha Denona blush that is Toto and Golden Coral. I got this from a sale from Sephora, Sweden. And it's this too. I love that one. That is so pretty. So those are the items that are here and then you will see the, all the palettes on the palettes collection video. Don't you worry. Yeah, so this one holds my nail polish. 
I did a nail polish collection and I didn't really add so much, probably like five nail polishes. So if you wanted to see my nail polishes, <laughs> it will be on that video. I will update the thumbnail because the thumbnail is not really good. So maybe that's the reason why there's not a lot of people that are viewing it. But if you wanted me to do another video of my nail polish collection, because not all of them are here. The other ones are elsewhere, like in the toilet or somewhere else. So yeah, so these are... But they are. I love the H&M nail polishes. Mostly they're H&M. Or they are SC. I love the quality of the SC nail polishes. I have some Kiko Milano too. And I love the OPI also. They're expensive. Yeah, so... Yeah, my go-to are the H&M. My favorites are the SC and the OPI. Yeah, but h and is a very good quality also, and I love their one, did the brush. There's some lipsticks there, and remember, lipsticks will be on a different video. But at least you see where most of them are. They're right there, and um, these ones are the ones that I either haven't used yet, or barely used, so they're just right there. And let's go to more lipsticks, which is another level down. This part, I just recently moved this lipsticks here just for, or just so I'll be able to share them with you, but they're all over the place. Some are on my bedside, some are on the toilet. Uh, yeah, so, but this have always been here. It's my MAC collection, and they're right there. And then I have quite a lot more that I haven't done a haul video yet. So they're still on the MAC paper bag right here. Not. And there's quite a lot of them already. Mac here on this row are my luxury lipsticks. So we have Dior at the back is Gucci and then Tom Ford and Yves Saint Laurent is right there. And then the most expensive lipstick that I have is the History of Faux that I got from Thailand. And then this part is all of them. All of these are my Guerlain lipsticks. So mostly Rouge G lipsticks, except for this one I just put it here. But uh, this is the lipstick queen that I got in minis because I wanted to try them, but I never got to open them. But I gave away an entire box of this to my YouTube sisters before. So all of the Guerlains you're gonna see on my lipstick video, which is supposed to be uploaded tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully I can do that. And then this side. Yep, more luxury lipsticks, but uh, these are the not opened ones yet. I hold them the entire 2020, but they're not opened, and these ones are not open to the girl line. So these are the ones that are open, so they are all here on this part. And then at the back are my NYX Soft Matte lips Lipsticks and my H&M Lipsticks. So the ones at the very corner are still inside a box. Right there. And yeah, I will not open that yet. It's better that I open the lipsticks later on because I have way too many that are opened. And I'm just going to waste them if I open them all. So that's all for that part. And then lastly, I just have my H&M makeup collection right there. And I didn't really add so many. Um, uh, brush Brushes from Luxie that I put there. And then Spectrum Collections brushes that you will see on... My brush collection video and then this are perfumes so those three are Prada perfumes and then those two that's Lancome and then that's a perfume Bible a perfume book because I love books maybe I should do a book collection video also and this is just my go-to um, makeup bag where if I have to do some freelance work and I just put their specific makeups for the specific client. That's why it's not so big. But I just recently used that because I had a client recently. Her daughter got married and so I had to do a makeup for her. So those are the items that are here. There's like quite a lot of them. But I'm happy I'm finally able to do this part of the video. Alright, so this last but definitely not the least, here are some makeups that are temporary orphans. <laughs> so I will go ahead and share them with you also. And yeah, let's start with this one. So this is where I keep my Laura Mercier items. I wanted to do a full face of Laura Mercier video also. So I got this um, as gift with purchase this pouch. 
and some of the items also right here so some of them are free when I bought the Laura Mercier full size of setting powder or the powder that's very popular that's not in this part though um, so I have a translucent setting powder here and this is a compact looks like this just a nice powder mini puff mini lipstick but I have a full size here also and this is the full size that I bought from a sale yeah super sale 92 crowns <laughs> so that so that's about nine dollars so the shade was bliss but it's taped so I want to open and then this one is a Laura Mercier metallic taupe eye color okay and then I have two Laura Mercier mascara I always use that on or like most of the time on my videos I love that mascara I got one on my everyday makeup bag and then I got another one here on my filming area so this is the what's it called yeah translucent powder and I have a big one of this one so I bought this and then the custom palette and then they gave me this freebie this one's new I hauled this from a dollar store haul it's from 183 days of beauty I think this is made in Austria oh made in Italy Ooh, I wanted to go ahead and try this one revolution prime when I'm so lazy to prime, I just I just spray my face with this one. And then now we have here some items that are like palettes, bigger palettes, the ones that does not fit on my storage. I just put them here and there's so many random things. This one is um, a Tarte face palette that was given to me by Sis Nancy of Nancy Lip TV. It's a very nice evening clutch, like a coffret. And then you have some blush, bronzer, and then a contour shade right there. It's very easy to remove this if I'm not mistaken. Like, yeah. Like that. Pull that off. And then you can use this one as an evening clutch. Very nice. I should really bring this out because this is perfect for the holidays. I have been collecting makeup store items that I never used. I plan to do a full face of makeup store items. So this is makeup store. I have known makeup store from Thailand. And there is this uh, makeup school. What was that again? I'm going to put it on the screen. And they have the, that in Thailand. But it is a Swedish brand. And there's the uh, makeup school of that here in Sweden also. So this one has very nice eyeshadows. You can actually remove this and pop it on like a palette or whatnot. And then their palettes you could put into this type of pens also. It's very nice. So jungle fever palette that's that so this is what i'm talking about but this one i bought this as is if i'm not mistaken they really have released this one before like like two years ago or one i don't know i forgot already so we have concealer we have brow shades we have a blush shade right there and then some eyeshadows let's see if i'm not mistaken micro shadow trio try brow that's right Cover all mix, which is concealers, and then the blush right there. And then to open it, you just have to push this textured part right here. And then you see the items. They are indeed very beautiful. I should really put this up. I should try this. But the other items from makeup store that I bought, I have tried them. Like this one. So this is supposed to be an eyeshadow, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, micro shadow. But I use this as a blush. It's a very cool pink blush yeah never uh, I don't know if I tried this as a shadow actually I should really just want this for the blush and then I have a smoky one this is very pretty packaging and it looks like this and this one is called micro shadow in the shade shade <laughs> and it's so cool with the skulls right here so they come up with the, an entire collection of this one and I think this is the only one left when I bought it. So it's like a black eyeshadow. With a very cool packaging. Look at that. Ooh, it has its own sleeve. The makeup store in there. And then I got this too. Still from makeup store. Very pretty. And this one reminds me of Portugal. Yeah, lots of this tile type of things there. 
yeah, porcelain. So uh, this is a blotting powder in porcelain. Very pretty. And it's a powder that, nope, I have never used also. That's good. Or bad. <laughs> this one I used. Yes, I love this one. And I, I, I'm reaching out for this every now and then. Very nice right here. Push it, and then we have a blush, and then I highlight. Yeah, see, I've used that one. Not so bad. Yeah, there. So those are my makeup store items. And then I will show you some other things right here. I have this NARS palette. I have been meaning to do a video about this one, even just a haul because I wanted to open it and swatch this. I wanted to put this one on my makeup bag. So this will be my everyday eyeshadow because it has really, really nice shades. And this is the Narcissist Wanted Mini Palette. And then the Wanted Palette from NARS is like a big hit got sold out and everybody wants it back so yeah. this was like this sitting in my storage for a long time until I finally was like oh my gosh I need to use that one and this is the what do you call that like the brush cleaner so you swish your brush there in between like when you're doing the makeup so you don't have to really waste so many brushes per shade and then like when I'm doing my eye look sometimes I just use I just wanted to use my favorite brushes so yeah, I just swirled it there. I have this small things right here. Oh, this one, I bought this one. The Cabral, and this one holds the blonde Cabral, which is, I think, on my makeup bag. And then this is a roller lash, which is a freebie from Sephora. When you buy for a certain amount, they give you points, and then I use my points for this one. Given to me, Velvet Peri Para. It's a blush, and yeah, I love to use this one with my... Luxie brush When I found out that it's better to use it with blush from my very lovely friend Mami Me and please check out her YouTube channel. She's an amazing makeup artist from the Philippines And then I got the idea of like using blush and tints or cream blushes and tints with a nice brush like this Okay, Camilano, I wasn't able to show this earlier because this is a quad shadow unlike the other ones so this is like quad big shadows i think i only used it like once or twice well i have to try this again i have some smashbox items right here this was given to me on a swap by sis nancy of nancy live tv again sis nancy gave me a lot of things to get you know she's like very very generous i love doing swaps with her because she's amazing and she had very good taste so this are oh this are for the lips i used it once I really love lip palette, so I should bring that out. Or at least put this one on my makeup kit for my clients because I prefer using lip palettes than like ordinary lipsticks when I do makeup for other people because I want to use the lip brush anyway. And then this one is a shadow. Okay, yeah, so this is like some neutrals and then. Something you can do day and then a night one when you make it smoky with this black one. And then this one is the contour. It's really hard to use this one because it's hard to get into the, those pants. But for the quality, I like them. So those are the Trio Mini Travel palettes from Smashbox. I got some YSL items here. I think I'm missing one. So this is the Face Palette Gypsy O Palette. I'm just collecting the ones that have pink covers. And it looks like this. I think I never used this one. No, never used. This is just for collection purposes. This one too. Okay, this one I used. And this is like a, a blurring thingy. Like when you grab it and then you put it on like blurs it and give you a nice texture on the face. Mattifies and blurs. Yeah, Touche Claw Blur Perfector. That's what it's called. I got another one which I've been meaning to do a haul video and I wasn't able to do so yet. It's also a pink one. And what's this? Ooh, look at that. It's so cool. Pink and holographic at the same time. It's called a Face Palette Collector. Ooh. And it looks like this. So I think this is being marketed as a blush. Physician's Formula Blush. Here. I like this one. PH Matchmaker. Still from Sustancia of Nancy Lab TV. 
I like it. This is really nice. Then I have this, yeah, still from Sis Nancy, Nancy Live TV. So sometimes I do use this and um, blend this with my foundation to give me a glow. So this is the Juicy Marin. This one I haven't used, CAL Drew Me Eyeliner from a box that was sponsored way back. The It was a box from India, I forgot already. And then here, it is a powder, the powder that I used to set my under eye concealer. I love it. This is from Sri Chand from Thailand and I should have more. I will ask my friends in Thailand to send me some. A uh, Too Faced palette that was given to me from a swap by Sis Rhea. Rhea Pinay was her YouTube channel but maybe she changed it now or she's not really doing YouTube anymore. And then I have the Betty Luminizer. This is old. I should declutter this one. Maybe. Colourpop. Ooh la la. Okay, I got this. And um, I, I asked a friend to get this for me. And this is... Pre-loved. Ooh la la. This was from two years ago. They do not sell this in Colourpop anymore. Yeah, I should really clean this up. It's really nice. It's like has Barbie shades in there. I have Zulu by Juvia. Very pretty colorful palette. This has very good reviews. Looks like this. Stunning rainbow colors right there. Oh, I love this one. This is very good quality. Also, the Villains Cat Spell, which I use for my Disney Villains makeup. Ursula, and I should be using this one because this is actually really good. Not just for that makeup. I should reach out for this one. And look at that. Very nice for dark makeup. And then you can put a gold in there. I have this one. H&M. I could never complain about any H&M makeups because they are of good quality. But the shades that I have tried on this palette, I didn't really like them. So I have to give it another try and see... If I would like them. Otherwise, maybe I have to declutter this one. This I have used on some of my videos also. It's from Etude House, Korean brand. Welcome to Princess Fantasy. This is so pretty. This is a limited edition VIP thingy. And it has pastel colors, very light colors. But this one works. I and then Morphe. This is the only... Morphe big palette that I have now and it's an old one, 35C. Some of the shades here stain like crazy. I don't know which ones of the green here stayed so crazy or stained so crazy on my brush that I cannot remove forever. <laughs> I'm missing one shade here. I don't know what that is. But yeah, I still use it every now and then when I am um, thinking of uh, something colorful. Then I still reach out for this because I know that this one has the color flush taste. And it's a new one for me that I unboxed, which you will see on my YouTube channel. I will not talk about that so much. Why am I talking about palettes? There's going to be a specific video for the palettes. Oh my god. Another palette. Club Tropicana. I should not show this to you. <laughs> because I know that I will be repeating the same thing and show you the palettes on the palette collection. So now let's talk about what's in my H&M makeup bag. I still have the price. Uh, it was so about two, three years ago. I have beauty swaps with a lot of Filipino YouTubers, and I give all of them one of this makeup bag each, and then put some items there inside, and yeah, and some more, of course, outside the box. <laughs> Yeah, so I just filled it up with lots and lots of makeup from that I could find in Sweden. But these are all items that are H&M. So I got here some glitters that I have been loving. I, I love to use them before. They still sell some of these. Maybe they just repackage it. But yeah, they are really good quality. Okay, I got this one. And I bought several of these also and have given away. But this is like a dark shade, like a dark brown shade and then a gloss there that's like about that color also metallic brown I got some eyeliners here it is the only ones left I think I have some more so I have uh, one shade that says 
isotope and afterglow. This is like a more grayish metallic and then this is like more copper-ish metallic. The only complaint that I have with H&M items is that the color for the outside with the names does not really match perfectly what's inside. Well, it may surprise you. Sometimes it's like prettier inside than the outside. Like for example, so I have like quite a lot here and this is one of them. So they look like this inside and this is a very nice red color. It's called In The Red. I used this one for my Harley Quinn makeup years back. Yeah. I should transfer them into one palette so I could use them. And then this one, I have this uh, cherry blush. I think I have two of these. Yeah, I showed you one of these already. Looks like this. And then this one is apricot. No, cotton candy. I think I have something that like says apricot also. Cotton candy is just like a very cool tone pink. Very nice blushes, but this one barely shows up on me. This is too light. Should have cluttered it too. And then just four of the com or three compacts right here. Shape, shade, contour, quad. So it's a contour quad, but this is just like a powder contour right there. I used this a couple of times. I got this one, Global Fusion Eye Quad. So this are, that's really nice. I should put this out because, okay, I'm gonna put this on my top, top drawer to try this again. This is, should be a bronzer, nape. Yeah, but bronzer, golden honey. And let's take this. I have these two things here. What are you supposed to be? Eyeliners? Doesn't say. Looks like it. This is this is charcoal, but I don't think that it's that black for my liking. It looks like a much more like a dark gray. <laughs> and this one is aha! What? It's unopened. Oh my gosh! This looks like it's a metallic green. I should try this one. I'm gonna put both of these spots in my top drawer so I will be able to use them. That's all for H and M. Now some makeups that I use for body painting. I use these items for Halloween and that's why it's here. Some Halloween makeup. This is Eye Magic palette and it has these colorful ones. Yeah. So this is oil based. I am not so 100% liking this one but I will give it another chance. But at, at the first time I tried it, it's not so good for me. This one is nope but not super good for me too. Very nice color story but does not give me the intensity that I wanted. This one Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Mattifying Mystifying Powder. It's very nice. I use this for setting underneath the eyes and if I have a white makeup also I use that to set. Face cream. Mm, this is not as white as, as I wanted it to be also. But I couldn't complain because this is very affordable brand anyway. Some latex and fake blood here for doing SFX and then I have this contact lens that I was not able to use yet but I will very soon and you will see that. You know what? It's so funny. I got this from like the party store and that black I prefer better than the blacks of those two. And then I just have this MAC Rocky Horror makeup here. This is like a contour palette. Yeah, contour palette. Shade and light. Last but definitely not the least are these MAC items that I hauled, I put here, and I never get a chance to share with you. <laughs> so I'm gonna share them right now. Let's see. Maybe I'm not gonna open them one by one because they may be belonging to a different video like a, my lipstick collection video or my palette collection video but I just show you what I have. This one is a face palette so I will be showing this to you on the face palette collection instead. Uh, this is Ignite Wonder Face Palette. 
Then I have um, this compact, this I can show, Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So this is a highlighter, very pretty. I love the design of this one. It has a dragon inside and I am born Year of the Dragon. So, this is perfect. I sold that already. And then I got this one right when they were released this summer. Then this is just supposed to be a powder. I just have this like then I have some lipsticks right here Wow, that's a lot I'll show that on the Mac lipstick collect uh, I mean the lipstick collection video for yeah because it's like quite a lot so this lipsticks I told you I'm gonna show that to you next time but at least I show you the packaging so this one is nature freak okay cool this is gold it's a gold lip gloss and that's nice. I like gold. Here's a lipstick version of um, from that collection called Feeling Sentimental and this one is Velvet Punch. From, I think this is their Powder Kiss formula. Yeah, Powder Kiss lipstick, their new formula. Uh, this one is called High Fructase. It's a very nice collection also. And uh, this one came from this collection, and then I bought them together. Skew, S K E W. We'll show that to you tomorrow. And this one is a Mac Oh Sweetie really Lip Color, in the shade Strawberry Mousse. This is supposed to be a lip gloss. So exciting! It's good to have two lip glosses. And uh, Candy Wrap is the same. Nope. Oh, it's a special packaging. Yeah, because this is a lip balm. It's a MAC, MAC lip balm. Okay. I got two MAC brushes that I also bought because I want to collect some pink brushes. This one is super duper soft dual fiber. That's like really nice. I should show this to you in the brush collection also. And then here's another one. Very pretty right there. This one is the Patrick Star Miso Chick set. I love Patrick Star and because uh, he's half Filipino or he's Filipino. Was it he? Pure Filipino. Then I gotta have this one. Support. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do I open this? Yeah, maybe I'll open this one. This is a very nice thing. Oh, so cute. Patrick Star used to work for Mac. And this collab is like, oh my god, I can only imagine how much he is feeling. Oh, there's a freebie of the, like, the studio system. So all of them came wrapped. Aha, uh -huh, that's a lipstick. It's pink. Perfect. <laughs> you know how much I love light pink. It should be light pink, not dark pink. Ooh, lip gloss. I love lip gloss. So that's that. Oh my, I have to be showing this again to you tomorrow. <laughs> Those lipsticks. And then this one is a contact. And this one has... Oh, it's so pretty. This packaging is life. And uh, yeah, looks like this inside. We have... Oh, it's not used. Um, like a bronzer and then a... Blush right there. This one is called I'm Not Blushing Powder Blush Duo. That's what it's called. And then last but definitely not the least for this video. Oh my gosh, it's the last one. Ta-da! The Patrick Star Quad. So Patrick Star have several collabs with Matt and I think this is like the second one if I'm not mistaken. Stay with me, eyeshadow quad. That is so exciting. So there you have it, everybody. This might be a very long video, but I'm happy I'm able to finally share with you my makeup collection as of 2020. And then watch out for the lipstick collection tomorrow, palettes collection the next day, and then my brush collection or makeup brush collection and tools for the day after the next day. But the day after the day after tomorrow. What? <laughs> See ya.
everybody we are able to complete the part one of my makeup collection series for this oh, week so. and then today is my makeup collection tomorrow once again is my lipstick collection then followed by palettes collection and on the 17th is my brush collection so don't miss out on that and i would love to go ahead and see you all everything will be uploaded on around 6 o'clock p.m. for Manila time and then 11 o'clock in the morning for Central Europe time but you can watch it on the replay also yes so don't forget that I am doing a video every day from December 1 to December 31 so if you haven't checked out my other videos go ahead and check them out next week I will share my jewelry collection videos that will be by brand and by category and then the last week will be my Pandora collection. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish this one. So, have a wonderful December. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye.